It's beautiful, isn't it? Isn't it, sweetie, huh? Did you like it, my darling? Oh, hey. Do you like it, my dear? I sewed it all by myself with my very own two hands for my little daughter. Oh, look, sweetheart. Hey there. Look who's here. Look, Auntie Daria's arrived. I was just about to call you, huh? Daria, I made the tablecloths. Do you think these will be okay? Do you like them? They look really nice. Our store will look like a flower. I've decided. Everything is almost ready. Tomorrow the menus will be ready, okay? And also, I was thinking that maybe we could do the opening on Friday, you know? Fingers crossed. Daria, dear, you could have at least pretended to be a little excited, you know? We're going to open up our own shop. I'm really happy about it. I just don't have the energy to show it right now. What happened? I'm just so tired. But this isn't regular tiredness, Daria. What's the matter with you? Is something wrong with Nahat? Look, it's okay. I know that you have a lot of problems. I don't want to annoy you with my talking, but... But Nahat is not a safe man. Mrs. Lee has fade as evidence of that, Daria. Shh, shh, please don't continue that thought, Cobra. I really don't have the energy for it. I just had an argument with Sybil, and that was the last of my energy. Why did you have an argument? We moved Her Majesty to her new house. But all she does is complain. She's not even trying to make things work. She just spends her whole time complaining, and I wish she'd just make a little effort. She needs a more realistic perspective. What's done is done, okay? So she should move on. But she keeps holding on to her misery. But you have to understand where she's coming from. Sometimes things happen and you feel so defeated that you, you can't find the strength to try again, no matter how hard you want to, you know? Everybody handles change differently. It's not necessary to be happy to stay alive, but having food is necessary. So she needs to work to put food on the table. She needs to make some effort to survive, even if she doesn't want to. But where can she find a job? After you get burnt down her campaign, her career was over. What else can she do? <sighs> Things used to be so beautiful. <laughs> Our days were always the same, but it was nice. There was a peacefulness that came with routine. <sighs> Things are different now. So many changes have happened. It's almost as if our destinies are rewritten every day that goes by. You know what I want? For our shop to be popular. God willing. I figured out everything. I figured out my work schedule, and I know what to expect. I know what's going to happen in my life. Being surprised is too tiring. I really want to work so hard that, that I have nothing else to think about other than establishing a life with my daughter, and I really don't want to think about anything else. Whenever you start to speak all philosophically like this, it means that Yigit has something to do with it. Has something happened? It has, but not with Yigit. So? I don't even know how to tell you what happened, Daria. Start from the beginning. Something very unexpected happened to me recently. What happened, Kubra? I'm dying to know. Amir is in love with me. What? He's in love with you? He said that he loves me. Since when? What did you tell him? What can I say, Daria? I was so shocked at that. I couldn't even say a word. <sighs> 